Linda Durquez walks home with her eight-year-old son, Scott, Monday morning. They just dropped off Madeline, Durquez's daughter, a pre-kindergartner at Richard Kane Elementary. We walked to school hand in hand and um, thinking about the events on Friday and whether it's safe or not. When we got near the school, there was two policemen at the door and it was very good to see. And I said to them, I would like to see you here every day. Those Bartlesville police officers are part of the increased police presence at all 10 Bartlesville public schools. This after 18-year-old Sammy Chavez, a student at Bartlesville High School, was arrested Friday, charged with plotting to shoot his fellow students. Police also say Chavez planned to place bombs at entrances to the school to kill officers. Obviously, it's a time of heightened awareness, um, and we felt it was really important to increase our security measures, do even more than we've been doing. Um, and, you know, our students were, were never in danger, but we feel like we can, um, you know, if we can have that extra level of security, we feel the need to do that. In the wake of the horrific tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, and the near tragedy that happened up the road at Bartlesville High School, Durquez says that there is a sense of security in knowing that the district is taking Friday's events seriously. I live right next near the school, that school, so I mean, it's just a shock, and yet at the same time, not a shock anymore because it keeps happening. You worry that that's going to continue to happen, so they need to make these steps. Counselors are also being made available to students at Bartlesville High School if they feel threatened or simply need someone to hear out their concerns. Chavez sits in jail now on $1 million bond. He's scheduled to be in court January 11th. In Bartlesville, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.